want to talk about big men addicted chickens these are they and those round things are like big new grapefruits we have apparently that's what i think anyway hey somebody mansplain this to me do chickens have large talons do chickens have large talons What's that, son? I can't understand you. I, I, I say, I say, I can't understand you, son. The night before New Year's and all through the club, not a creature was exercising, not even a slug. The dad bods were nestled all snug in their beds, knowing that they would have to relinquish the bread, the bread and the carbs, that is, for New Year's 2019 so they would have a body like Casper Van Dien. <laughs> right. Peace out. Oh my God, look at this. It's like an all parallel spider web that they're trying to create over the city of Los Angeles over Hollywood to the din of Kenny G style jazz in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's this cheesy jazz type music playing and it's kind of saxophony by this guy selling incense. I almost said by this guy smelling incense, which could be true too. I mean, if he's selling it, he's probably smelling it. You know those guys who sit out in front of stores and try to sell their wares, and the store just, oh, through the saxophone. Oh, look, there's a plane flying over too. Yeah, but they're making like a Spider-Man-esque kind of design with these contrail, chemtrail things. I've never quite seen the like. But if they start crisscrossing it, like George Nori always talks about, which I've actually never seen them do a tic-tac-toe board, but this is the closest I've seen all one directional. And of course that line at the top is kind of going in a diagonal differential direction. But it's still pretty weird in its symmetry. Anyway guys, just let me know what you think, if you think anything. If not, just admire the pretty pattern and peace out. And now we see the sunset's after effect. And now the lines are a little more zigzaggy, but interesting nonetheless. And one of them looks like the Star Trek symbol, like that, only that way. See? All right, peace out. These really don't look like chemtrails. They just look like straight pellet-like clouds because they just start and stop really, really immediately and erratically. But at least they're not V-clouds warning us of the V-like invasion. Oh, except for this one on this very side is kind of a V-cloud, but it's pointing in the totally wrong direction and it doesn't totally come together at the angle. But even still, you get to the basic idea. First now here is another X-cloud. Hmm. Fluffy V-cloud. Hmm. It's nighttime. The Chase Bank sign is supposed to be white at night and get gold at dusk and be black during the day. So I thought it was color changing glass with the sun. And even this one's not on too, so I don't know. I guess it's not color changing with the sun. I mean, it's evident that there was a light in there to make it light up um, white at night, but I don't know. I just, I can't account for how it switches to gold and how the gold switch figures in and how the color switch figures in. Cause it doesn't look like there's a light behind the gold when it turns gold, when it's ever it's overcast or dusk. So I still don't know how this glass works. Um, I should, probably try and call sign tech, which I still haven't done, but it's just really fascinating glass. Maybe I'll look it up online. Maybe I'll figure out the answer to this riddle and I will post it as a post note to this video to solve the ever-changing mystery of the Chase Bank sign and the so-called reflexive glass, which isn't ref reflexive, reflective. Because it's really not so reflective, is it? And again, maybe it's just reflecting the black sky with no light on underneath, but then why does it need a light and why does the glass need to be color changing if, well, I guess if they put a white light on at night it needs to. Why do we even need this kind of technology for this sign? Why don't they just make it like regular signs and stop confusing the hell out of us? That's my point. All right, peace out. This is so
so silly. <laughs> it's just, I love it. Look. It says, go dog. And then that circular creature next to it, his face is like smushed up against the glass. And then that other circular creature, I guess, is less chubby. So he didn't need to be smooshed so hard against the window. Anyway, this is our cat and dog store emporium that sells everything from baked goods for cats and dogs. Well, no, for dogs, cats would need it. Um, to catnip goods, to everything. And anyway, so this is our pet store, but it's hilarious and I had to show you guys this. Also, I wanted to let you know, I had another time slip the other night. So I was looking at my clock and I had to be somewhere and it said 7.30 and then 10 minutes later I looked down at my clock and it said 7.31. So I don't know what's happening with time for this new year. In any case, I hope you guys are having a great new year so far. Um, and I just wanted to show you this hilarious little scene. Alright, that's about it. Peace out.